Alrighty, so now we're going to start planning our site and planning can take any sort of form that you like and it can happen before a stage and after a stage, before another stage. There's no such thing as planning once and then never planning again throughout the entire design and development of a site. You need to be planning before pretty much everything that you do. Planning is amazing. So one of the ways that I like to plan is first of all to do a quick sketch of the site if I haven't designed it yet. After I've designed it, I then like to do a wireframe. And this is not a typical wireframe of, you know, how does the site look, how does it work, but uh, a box level wireframe of how are all of these boxes going to fit together on the website or on the page. So let me take you through my character website and how I've laid out all the blocks. So first of all, there's my page, which is one big box. What I want is a header box and inside that header box, I want a profile image box. I want it to be round and I've put a cross through the box to signify that it's an image. The next element is a heading still inside the header and this is going to be my character's name and maybe there could be a subheading but for now there's just a heading. The next thing is inside the content I'd actually like there to be another heading and maybe this could say about my character. Then there's going to be a paragraph tag with a bunch of copy, a bunch of text about my character. The next thing, another heading. And this could be saying something like my character's favorite things or my character's favorite friends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into an ordered list box. And inside that ordered list box, there's going to be a bunch of list elements. After that, I'm going to put an image. Again, you see the big cross which signifies the image. Under that, there's gonna be a small caption, and then beneath that, another heading with an unordered list with a bunch of list elements. And this list can be favorite things to do, or friends again, or characteristics, or a whole bunch of different things you can put in lists. And after that, I'm just gonna include a small footer, and inside that footer I'll say, this is who made the website, this is where you can find me and any other small information that my users may want to look for. So this is what I do for all websites from going from a design into HTML and CSS. So this is a really good process, a really good part of the planning when I can say, how does it all fit together as boxes? You do the same for your website. You can copy mine or you can come up with a few different ideas of your own. But it's really good to think of how it all fits together in boxes and which boxes fit in which boxes.